I am right now with Casey Curtis, who used to be his old coach for about a decade. So now that you have seen the results of this game, how are you feeling? Just uh, you know, a little disappointed, but still really, uh, really happy for Milos that he he got to this uh, he got this opportunity to to be in the finals of a Grand Slam, and especially at Wimbledon, which is a tournament that I know that he really, really loves, and and uh, I know that he'll come back and win this tournament one day. How huge is this moment for Canadian tennis? Well, it's uh, awfully big. I mean, in terms of singles, it's it's the biggest uh, uh, for men. You know, Eugenie was in the final for women once, but. Uh, uh, it's it's really big, I think, for Canadian tennis. There's been a lot of viewing parties I know all around the country today, and um, people are really excited about the game. And hopefully, a lot of young kids will pick up the game, and even some of the old guys too. When he lost the tiebreaker in such a nail biter, there was a huge groan in this room. Can you describe that feeling for people across the country who weren't able to be here? Well, I mean, everybody's pulling for Milos. You know, a tie, well, I think there's one one chap here that was pulling for Andy, which is which is great. Andy's a, a great player and a, a great uh, champion, but. Um, yeah, I mean, the tiebreakers are, you know, where, where everything gets gets down to the the last second, and um, so they're they're pretty pressure packed. And so, yeah, when when a player loses a tiebreak after playing for an hour, hour and a half of a set, um, it's uh, it's tough, it's tough. So the crowd felt it. And when we were speaking earlier, you said that you would be watching this game as a coach, uh, looking for what he did right, what he did wrong. So what happened? It's, you know, it's hard to say it until I have a chance to talk to him, um, you know, and, well, I assume he'll, he'll tell me really what was going on. But I was wondering last night how he's going to sleep. You know, I had a look at his eyes uh, in the beginning of the match. I was sit sitting up there in the warm-up and having a look at his eyes. He looked good, so I think he had a, a good rest. I don't think he was tired. Maybe he's a little tired physically from his previous matches. But, you know, he looked okay. He was moving pretty well. I think, I think just a little bit of nerves. He made a few... Uh, I think poor decisions in terms of his shot selection. Uh, I don't think I would have been coming coming up the middle the way he was, at least not with the shots he was coming up the middle with, and, and maybe too many body serves, especially early on in the, in the match. So a few things to work on, because he is coming to Toronto for the Rogers Cup with Andy Murray and some of the other greats. Um, how is that rematch going to be later this month? Well, if he gets a chance to play Andy again, it's always going to be tough. You know, these guys, they've, they've had a lot of, of really good matches. The one in Australia, the one at, at Queens a couple weeks ago today. Um, it's always going to be tough. I think actually it'll be a little bit easier for Milos. Uh, you know, Andy's been in the final. He's won the tournament. So probably a little bit more comfortable for him today. But uh, they get a rematch on a hard court. You know, it'll be another great match. And there are a lot of kids here, a lot of young tennis players. Can you speak to me a little bit about what it means to see him in this game for those younger kids coming up through the club? Well, it's, it's funny because uh, I used to say to Milos when he was their age that, uh, you know, he didn't really have too many role models. You know, we've, we've had a few uh, great doubles. I mean, Daniel Nestor, tremendous ambassador for, for the, the country, more as a doubles player. But we haven't really had somebody at this level in, in singles. So uh, not really role model, but now they have a role model. And... Um, uh, somebody that they know came from this area in particular. They know that I worked with him for a long time, so there's a little bit of a connection there, and I think uh, I think that gives him a lot of hope. And Denis Shapovalov won the boys today, so he's also from this area. So yeah, I think uh, the kids should be pretty encouraged.